put it into Target. I love weddings! I get to sit at circle tables and listen to the hits of today! I'm going over here. The Birch Benders has some keto pancakes that are up here. They've got really low carbs, but it's got high protein. Okay. These are amazing. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it, look at this, I got it! One of the very first things you learn when you find out you have diabetes is that you have to carb count or sugars. It actually, it used to be sugars, and then they switched it to carbs because carbs are sugar. Wait a minute, bread makes you fat? Bread makes you fat? What? There's more to count than just carbohydrates. You have fat content, you have carbohydrates, you have protein, and sugars. If you are taking insulin just for carbohydrates, you're missing out on a big factor. There's something called gluconeogenesis. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about Phil Collins. Protein breaks down and actually at some point becomes carbohydrates. Here's how you'll know. If you're eating a hamburger and you only counted the carbohydrates in the bun, but you didn't count for the protein, here's what would happen. About three or four hours later, you're gonna see this slow, steady rise. It's so frustrating because you're going, wait a minute, I didn't, I didn't eat any carbohydrates. I didn't do anything wrong. Where's that coming from? Protein breaks down slowly, especially when there's a higher fat content to it, slowly increases in your body. And if you don't take it into consideration, then you're gonna be chasing your blood sugars a lot. Do you remember those pancakes that I was talking about? Let me show you this, okay? 10 carbohydrates minus five grams of fiber really gives you about five carbs. There are nine grams of protein still in there. If I had only taken insulin for the five carbohydrates, I actually would be missing it because nine grams of, nine grams of protein is a little bit. And I'm gonna show you how to do the math on that. I want you to think of blue is carbohydrates, red is protein, okay? This has 10 carbohydrates and five fiber. This is 10 carbs minus five fiber gives you five carbs. Now we're going to protein. There are nine grams of protein right here. Nine grams of protein. I lift things up and put them down. You take the protein and multiply it by 0.6. This is the magic formula right here, times 0.6. 5.4 grams of what? Think about it. This is 5.4 grams, but is it 5.4 grams of protein? or is it carbohydrates? And that's the thing, it's actually, remember what we said about gluconeogenesis, this is the protein that is converted over to carbs. 5.4 grams of carbs and five grams of carbs actually ends up giving you 10.4 grams of carbs. See, this is, this is where it gets tricky. This math isn't hard, but this is what I do for every single meal that I eat. I add the carbohydrates, but I multiply the protein by 0.6. Now, the reason why these are special carbs, that 5.4, it's slow, it's long acting, it's, it's not immediate, it's not fast, because it takes your body longer to process it. So you gotta think between about three and five hours. Eventually. Is when this protein turned to carbs really starts to kick in. This sounds like it's a lot, and it's not. It really is, this is not all that hard. I use Siri every single time. What is nine times 0.6 plus five? The answer is 10.4. See, it's really, really simple. If you're on injections, take the insulin for the carbohydrates as soon as you eat and wait about three hours and then take a little more insulin for the protein. But if you have an insulin pump, now keep in mind, Loop does all of this for me and I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you guys how that all works. I'm gonna show you my Medtronic insulin pump and I'll show you how you can stagger this out over time to match your food perfectly, okay? So right now my blood is 83. So what I would do is I would come in here and I would enter in, and I could use the bolus wizard, but I would go in here and put in 83, okay? I can't actually get 11 grams. I would just go and round down and I would say 10. It's gonna tell me I should take 0.4 units. Don't mind that. It looks like my screen is losing its mind. Hit act and you have normal bolus, which would give me all four units right now. 
square wave or dual wave. And that's the one I want. I want dual wave, 0.4, but you can split it up. And that's what I would do. I would split it between the 50% now and 50%. I would set it to go at three hours after my meal. Sometimes you can do three and a half hours or four hours, just depends on how much protein there is. This doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, right? You're like, ah, oh, 0.4 units, whatever, you weirdo. Let's take something that has a little bit higher protein content and let's look at what this would have done to me if I hadn't done this kind of math. It's advertised saying that it's got one gram of sugar, 20 grams of protein. Uh, it has eight carbs minus two fiber, which means six, but that's not very many carbs, but look at the protein. There's 20 grams of protein in there. That's actually a lot of protein. So let's do the math on that. Based off of six carbs, right now my pump is saying don't take any insulin but that's not how many carbs are really in it. That 20 grams of protein is gonna convert over, let's see this, 20 times 0.6 plus six. The answer is 18. That's 18 carbs, 18 carbs. Not right away though. Let's see what 18 carbs would have been in my pump. 18 carbs, that would have been 1.1 units of insulin. That's a lot. That's not a ton, but that's still a lot more than zero. I'm no mathematician, but that's still a lot more than zero. Remember, your simple math is multiply your protein times 0.6 and add that to the carbs, enter that in your pump and take half the insulin now, half the insulin later, based off of what your percentage of carbs to protein is. If you're eating low carb, high fat, or just low carb, this is a lot easier because you don't have to deal with all the carbohydrates. For those of you who are interested, I don't use dual square wave, dual wave or square wave bolus because I use loop. I'm gonna show you just for the heck of it. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in loop right now. That I'm at 82 and I would enter in my carbohydrates. Uh, up here, the amount consumed would have been 18 carbs. I would also select this little pizza icon because you'll notice that when I select that pizza icon, it changes my absorption time over to four. It would have slowly given it to me over that four to six hour time frame, and it would have been fine. Hopefully this helps you. Um, I mean, I'm not a doctor. I don't know everything or I'm not a doctor or a scientist. I've always known that the protein matters, but I just didn't know how to give myself insulin based off of that. Your body is processing protein and converting it to carbs, whether you know it or not, even whether or not you're taking insulin for it or not. I would suggest just try it out. Hopefully that helps answer that question. All right, all right.